На 23-й стол приглашается Ольга Прохорова, Светлана Зверева. Зверева Прохорова, стол номер 23. На 19-й стол приглашается Елена Кривонова, Евгения Боброва. Боброва Иванова, стол номер 19. На 20-й стол приглашаются Ирина Лазаренко, Анастасия Новикова. Новикова Лазаренко, стол номер 20. Трибуна Бойтина Ирина Напополс Никос Сергей Луцкер. Луцкер Сергей Ирина Напополс Никос Трибуна Бойтина.
Просьба подойти к судейской коллеге Елена Пак. Елена Пак. Просьба подойти к судейской коллеге.
Баракович, Баракович Александр Плишкин Егор, 38 стол, Баракович Плишкин 38, 34 стол Трифонов Лев Терес, 34 Трифонов Лев Терес, Шевчик Дудонец, 39 Шевчик Дудонец, 39 На 15 стол приглашаются Татьяна Титова, Наталья Трофименко. Трофименко Титова, 15 стол. На 16 стол приглашаются Галина Ахаревук и Елена Бонус. Бонус Ахаревук, 16 стол. На 18 стол приглашаются Денис Колосов и Игорь Петовщин. Петовщина Колосов, 16, 18 стол.
Власов Владимир. Власов Владимир. 34-й. Прошу прощения, 33-й стол.
Good shot there by Shane. I, he's glad that one ball didn't go in because he, he wouldn't have had a shot at the two, but. На четвертом уважается Дмитрий Манчак, Вячеслав Югай. Югай Манчак, четвертый. speed here on this. Let's get to stay for the seven ball. He's going to be really close to the seven, looks like. Just a little too hard. He might bank this. It looks like he's going to bank it. Looks like he's going to try and play the bank shot back to the corner and play for the eight ball in the same pocket. That way if he misses the bank it's still safety. Tell Shane's not quite used to the tables yet with the brand new cloth.
commentate, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like he overhit it just a hair. I think he's all right. These tables actually play pretty slow. Brand new cloth, they play pretty slow. So you think it's possible to Should just be able to, uh, to hit this slow enough to stay from the floor between the yeah. cue ball between the six and the Yeah, you should just be able to kill it a little bit and come uh, just play the natural shot come down to the middle once he gets once he if he gets good on the four then he has a pretty easy layout then you come across play from the six in the, in the same corner and you shoot the four yeah oh okay my name's Corey Duell and I'm sitting here with Billy Thorpe Watching Shane Van Boning and Marcel Ooh, looks like he overhit this. Uh, er. A too far, but I think he's okay. Yeah, he is okay. Yeah, the table is pretty slow. Really. Yeah, that's what you said. You said in your match, you played a TV match earlier. You won eight to zero. That was good shooting. Yeah, I played. I played. I played pretty well. I. Uh, I didn't really make too many mistakes I'm I think I, I think I missed like two balls but for the most part I played pretty good that's good first time to Russia what do you think of Russia uh, it's unique it's uh, I'm first time out of the country also so it's uh, definitely a huge experience for me it's fun Looks like he hit it pretty sporty. That was a good shot. I think he, he can't really... It looks like a thin cut for the side pocket. You might have to play this in the corner. He can't shoot it past the 7 in the corner? He can shoot it in the corner, tell. but it looks like he's pretty straight in. So if he can cut it in the side, it'll be an easier position. 6. 
Looks like he's playing the corner, trying to draw back. That's a good shot. That was a real good shot. Looked like the cue ball reacted pretty nice there. It's easy to draw the ball on these tables. Yeah. You barely, uh... Seems like you barely touch them in there. They're doing what you want. <laughs> yeah. If not more. How do you feel about rushing? How many times have you been here? This is my second time, but I enjoyed myself last time. Slide over for the seven ball right here. Landed pretty good on it. Now, what do you do? Do you go forward two rails and... and uh, should just be able to slide over to the middle of the table and play the eight in the corner past the ten, right? Oh, so just stop it? Slide over to yeah. the left, just a foot or so. Okay. Play the eight in the corner. I can't really tell the angle that he has. He's not straight in, is he? I think he's got a pretty good, good amount of angle. I think he's coming all the way across. Oh, he drew it back. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, that was a great shot. Yeah, got a little close to his work, but it worked out. And up, end up nice on that. How did you find the break? Were you breaking well in your match? Well, the first uh, first three games, the uh, the match crack wasn't on the table, but other than that, I, I broke pretty well on the table. With the, I was just crushing them, trying to make the side balls. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, I broke pretty decent, though. Have you played? Have you played your match yet? I haven't played a match yet, but the tables look nice. Diamond tables. Yeah. They ship these straight from America, so uh, it's always nice to play on the equipment we're used to. You know. Yeah, definitely. Most of the foreign events we uh, we play on different tables, but these these tables are American-made tables, so I think that'll help us. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh wow! That. Jeez, Tay hey, missed it pretty good. Yeah, Didn't yeah. leave anything easy for Shane. He's gonna have to make a. He's gonna have to make it straight back or take the tough cut. And make table. So. How do you play this? Do you do you bank this help and us? try and leave the cue yeah, ball froze? Yeah, I'm gonna bank it. Uh, or do you just just? Yeah, I'm probably gonna bank it. it and I'm assuming I can't really tell how deep of a cut he has though. Yeah, that's probably what I would have done, but. Well, I think he hit a pretty good speed. No, see, he wanted to hit a little bit slower than that. that yeah, he didn't leave it was just so hard. Try to leave it by the by the side, either leave him a tough cut or a bank cross side, but he mm -hmm. a little firm. Well, that ball went a little short. You think the tables are banking short? Uh, when I when I played on it, it seemed like they were pretty slidey. Yeah. Playing pretty long because the brand new cloth. This I think this is only the second match on the TV table, so it hasn't really been, even been played on that much. But it plays great though. It's not the ball return; it's a uh, drop pocket it's table. So uh, plays pretty plays pretty good. It plays the, the bed of it plays pretty slow though. When I when I played on it, it seemed like they were pretty slight. Uh, when, I, when I played on it, it seemed like they were. I don't were think I've ever seen seen slight. the guy Shane's playing. Looks, looks like, like a pretty, pretty good straight player. shooter. Yeah, he looks like yeah. a pretty good player. I don't know exactly where he's from. Looks like the score is 3-2 with Marcel to break. Needs a good break here. I think I was breaking from the opposite side. 
I was breaking from the left side. Oh, you almost made the one, but you made... Okay, four railer went in. Looks like he got hooked behind the nine. Probably gonna have to push out here. Uh, he might might be able to see the edge of it. Can't really tell. Oh, you almost made the one. He made okay. Four railer went in. He like yeah, push he out here. Uh, not unless he can real. Oh, you almost made the he one. Can really made. see the edge of the one and maybe cut it inside. I can't. Really Where would you push to? Like a safety push underneath the. Probably the nine. Yeah, probably push to the to the bottom rail here somewhere and just leave a leave a uh, leave safety. a awkward shot and try to play safe somehow. It's kind of a weird spot with the ball hanging that close to the hole. Trying to do something with it, he's going to try and cut it in or play safe. It looks like. I think he's trying to cut it in. Maybe he can. Yeah, hey, I think it. he might be able to see it. Oh wow, he uh, did. That he was is a good. Great shot. Look at that. And that's pretty much all you could do. You couldn't really care about where the cue ball went. You just got to worry about making the ball. He's got a little bit of a shot. He can cut the three, and I don't know how to get on the four though. Yeah, it's pretty. If he can miss the side pocket, he might be able to come around and get to the middle of the table. Or you could just go ahead and send the cue ball into the four. I like that. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's just, not real just bad. Just hit of a the shot. four and hope to get something. Yeah, hit and hope pretty much. Yeah. Looks like the four is really only his problem ball. If he looks like he might be playing safe. Yeah, he is playing safe. It's not that bad of a shot. I like that shot. Pretty smart. Kick two rails. I think he might have caught it in the corner. Looks like he got a little fortunate here. Have to play the jump, and I don't know if he's going to call the six or call it straight back. He's sure looks he's going like to call the six, right? It looks like he can thin the three. If he can thin the three, he might be able to come around and play safe, but it's okay. dangerous because the six is hanging right over the holes. Yeah, he's pulling his jump cue out here, so. Jump and try and make the six? Um, that would be my guess. You got to, it's kind of tough though because you got to worry about scratching. Yeah. Following through through the six. Oh, he might have got lucky. Yeah, he got a little fortunate also. Oh, what do you think Shane jump? Try and jump and make this. Uh, he's probably kick at uh, it. It's a little short jump. I don't know. He looks like he's kicking at it. Kicking two rails. I don't know if he's playing safe or if he called a pocket. I couldn't really tell. Hmm. Yeah, he left both balls open there. Yeah. I kind of like the jump there, I, or... I like the jump bank, and if you miss it, it has a chance of going three rails. I think he was trying to hit that fuller. I think he was trying to kick two rails and stop the cue ball. And yeah. send the three, a couple rails around. Safe. Yeah, for sure. That would have definitely been a better shot. I like the jump, though, like you said. Jump bank. You jump bank it, and if you miss, it might come around three rails. Yeah, yeah, I like that shot. This is a little bit difficult from the three to the four because if you go too far, two rails, you're going to get behind the five nine. So he's got to hit this with good speed. Either, either just hit it easy and just come out in the middle of the table, or hit it really hard and come around four rails. Well, the underneath. thing with hitting it hard is it's slidey right now, so it's kind of everything's. Yeah. It's not really reacting. Way it's uh, uh, see like he might have scratched. No, he didn't. Well, he didn't. He didn't keep his eye on the ball there. He yeah. Shane has difficult. a similar shot here. It's difficult when the when the table's playing a little little 
slick and you're not used to the conditions, you don't really know where to aim. Yeah, you don't know how to play the rails that well. Definitely, yeah, see Shane tried to go this the four rails, but it slid on See, this is what I was talking about. He slid. Yeah, I, think I think he might have got perfect, though, but he almost slid right up under the five and nine. That's what I was worried about. Marcel shoot. Yeah, he hit it perfect. Okay, well, Shane should be able to handle these. It's uh, just getting from the seven to the eight and the nine to the ten. Yeah, all pretty much hanging in the hole here. Yeah, I just come across to the second diamond, trying to hit the second diamond on the other rail here. Yeah, that's what he did. Perfect. Got a little angle to get down on the eight. I think it's Shane's break also. 4 2. Came a, little, came a little far, but I think he's alright. Anytime you're elevated, it's. How's Shane feeling this morning? Did he get over the jet lag? Yeah. Remember last night he was talking about how he, he, he knows how to get, get over the jet lag. Did that work out for him? Um, I don't know. I had a I had to wake up earlier. He was still sleeping when I woke up. I had a ten AM match, so I woke up at like like eight o'clock. He was still kinda sleeping. Yeah. I'm sure uh I'm sure he's still feeling it though, 'cause I don't know, he he might be used to it. I know I'm still feeling it. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired myself, but I'm trying to just grind through it. I'm actually starting to get used to the time here a little bit. Yeah, I was, uh, I was lucky. I, I slept okay last night. I woke up in the middle of the night a little bit, but yeah, same here. Also, I woke up and I think twice, two or three times in the middle of the night, and, but I ended up managing to fall back asleep, so it wasn't that bad. Like he crushed him, like always. And it looks like he may have a combo. Maybe one eight here. Yeah, beautiful break. Look at this break. Crushed him. Side balls didn't go like he wanted to, but he made the four rail. Really. Where'd the side balls go? They missed high or low? Yeah, they went they went real high for some reason. Oh, okay. There's just getting the one out in the open. That, he did a good job of that. Good speed on that shot. Yes. Now yeah. the three doesn't go, it doesn't look like. So he's going to have to play position for a safety. Yeah. Looks like he's going to have to either. I don't think it goes. We're, it only has one pocket, which is the top right-hand corner. But I don't know. Is he drawing this ball? I don't know. Really I think tell. if it's me, I just try and come over, bring the cue ball over by the side pocket and yeah. play it safe and try and stop the cue ball there. Play the smart shot. It'd be nice if you can get below it and you can play a better yeah. safety, but I think it's difficult to get there. Yeah, it'd be nice if you can get behind the, behind the five and stick them around. Oh, he's playing safe now. Yeah. No, I like that shot. It's good, but it's not that bad. He could have could have tucked the cue ball a little better, but... Not much he could do from that spot. The three's in a pretty tight spot. This is a nice uh, arena that they held this in. It's huge. Beautiful, and they do a lot of concerts here. Yeah, they said uh, it's really, uh, really professional. They said that uh, I think a week from or two weeks from now. Uh, Bon Jovi's going to be here. Oh, really? Yeah. We might as well just stay then. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that wasn't that bad of a shot at all. It was actually a great shot. I well, got the jump stick out. I think he's going to try and make it in the corner to draw the cue ball down. Yeah, because that's really his only option. If he makes it in the side, he doesn't really have a. can't really play shape or nothing. 
Oh, he, he did made it right in the side. side. Okay. Hit it perfect. Now we can see what he does with this safety. Yeah. He's supposed to lag it towards the, towards the side rail by the four and put your cue ball, try to hide it behind the five. Yeah, I think I'd try and put it on the third diamond above the four. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. I was thinking. And, uh, that way you're at least not going to leave, leave a run out. But. Yeah. Wow, that was a finish safety that there. Yeah. But uh, it crept out a little bit, but he did get it. Yeah, he hit it perfect. I think that was a better shot. Yeah, it was a little. It was definitely a better shot. The three ball kind of yeah, leaked out. A little thinner. Yeah. That was a good shot. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot at all. I didn't even see that one. Looks like he has a pretty tough jump here. You just got to pretty much worry about making this jump, no matter where your cue ball goes. <laughs> Jump kicked it. Left Shane. I think if Shane can see the edge, of, uh, he might be able to shoot it straight in the corner. Yeah, I think he can shoot this in. Yeah. Position's difficult. I'm not sure if he can follow between the uh, seven four. Try and run into the seven, or maybe just jump just past it. the seven. He might be playing safe. Yeah. Oh, shot it straight in the cup. Yeah, hit it good. Hit it a little bit. Uh, Table's a little slow. He see? overcut it. If he would have hit that in the middle of the pocket, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. he would have got shape. But he, yeah. Since he overcut it, I think he can still make this rail first. Yeah. That's gonna be tough. He's gonna have to hit it. Got to worry about hard scratching. To get, but get position on the five. Mm. Yeah, he made sure he hit it thin. That way his cue ball would come around. But yeah. Yeah. A little slow start for Shane for. Him. I don't know exactly where it does. Do you think the five ball goes past the seven ball in the top corner? No, it the doesn't. five goes in the side pocket. And it goes in the side, yeah. So I think it has no chance in the, in the corner there. The nine ball's too close to it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's either going to try to play it in the side, and if he misses, he, he has a safe behind the nine. Oh, he's trying to break it out. He hit a great shot there. Wow. That. Wow. That was a great shot. Yeah, you hit that as about as good as you could. There was quite a bit that could have went wrong there, but he hit it. He hit it as about as good as you could. Well, now for me on this five ball, if I could draw this past the nine, I'd like to do it because I'd like to be on that on the same side as the seven because it's easier to get. Yeah. Because if you come out in the middle of the table and you get a little weird angle, it's, it could be difficult to get on the seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one for sure. Oh, he came, he came a little short now. Now, now he's got to have real good speed here because if he goes too far, he's got to be behind the nine. Or if he goes yeah. too short, got a tough cut. Yeah. This ain't no easy shot though. It's pretty tough, really. Trying to, trying to worry about shape and making this ball is pretty, uh, pretty tough. Good shot. good. Looks like you got pretty good, pretty good angle on the seven. Just natural shot. Just make it and come across. I think you play the nine in the corner, right? Yeah, I think I play the nine in the corner because yeah, if you if you hit it with draw to come across from the side and you hit it too hard, you might hook yourself. The main thing on these tables is just don't hook yourself. I think. Yeah, for sure. So last year I played in the pyramid tournament. They oh, also really? have a pyramid tournament going on. That was that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that I've never actually I don't really know the rules or anything in the game, but it looks like a it looks like a great game. I know the uh, I heard the the pool sticks are like 30 ounces or something like that yeah, that they play with. I don't know if that's true or not. Play heavier, longer cues, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a neat game. They play uh, to scratch the cue ball. Uh, the pockets are extremely tight. Looks even tighter than snooker, right? Yeah, it's it's tighter compared to the balls are bigger. So maybe next year I'll play in the pyramid. I uh, 
was a little late coming this time, so. Are you are you pretty good at the pyramid game yourself? Or? I won two games, and but I lost my first match. It was single elimination. Oh really? But I won a couple games, and then it was it was fun. I played some uh, with uh, Evgeny Stalov at his uh, uh, billiard club. He's got a really nice nice billiard club here. Who's that? For Evgeny Stalov. Uh, He's one of him. the one of the best at. Uh, at the pyramid, I think he's oh, really? the, the. Wait, is he coming to the derby? He's the national. He he won the professional period pyramid titles uh, many years. Really? Yeah. So what's uh what's the guy that comes to the derby's name? He comes uh Derby City Classic. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Has uh, the has the wind up stroke? That's Evgeny Stalov. That's him, right? Yeah. 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 He, so uh, he uh, he has his billiard club around uh, here. Billiard yeah, club. He he's got a really here. nice. Nice. It's a really nice club too. I've been to it. So, if you get, if any locals get a chance to go, go check his place out. Yeah. I might have to go check it out. I might. Wait. Is it? Is it in this area around I here? I think. Is it? I forget exactly where it was. It really? was uh, maybe 30 minutes from uh, the Olympiski here. So, it's not too bad. He has a chance to tie this tie this race up here. He hit him pretty yeah. square, his cue ball is going crazy. Got kicked. Did he make a ball? Yeah, he made the two ball I think in the in the corner. Mm. I think it went straight back in the corner. Well, he's got a shot at the one. It's not a very easy, a little steep angle on the side, but if he makes it, the three's right there. So he hit yeah. it pretty square. Yeah. It looks like the Key four doesn't pass crazy. the six in the corner. So no. um, I think if it's me, if I can get the cue ball just around a little bit below the five ball and get an angle, you can maybe slide the cue ball down the rail and play for the four in the side pocket, or you could maybe play for a carom shot on the four to the six. Yeah, definitely. I I think I like the carom or safe. He has to worry about making this tough shot first here, though. This tough shot on the side. Hit it pretty good. He actually has a pretty good angle. Does he have a good angle to break now, it out? Now he can play for the carom. Yeah, he's played for the carom. I can't. He looks has. Yeah, so he has too much of an angle to break the balls out. If he can get the cue ball in the right spot he can hit the carom slow and then have the four come off one rail and if the four sets up right between the eight seven he'll have a shot on the side oh try yeah and keep the, the cue ball carom looks good there try and keep the cue ball right where the six is so yeah that would be a great shot let's we'll see what he has in mind here I think when the tables play real slidey like this and uh, the cost cost new, the kick shots are a little more difficult. So yeah, that means that the safeties. Wow, he played it three rails. Wow, it came out Ooh, underneath. Look at this wow. shot. He hit it perfect. And he got a shot. Wow, that was a cool shot. Yeah, that was pretty. I never expected that. I wouldn't have saw to do that. But yeah, that was uh, that was pretty. That was a pretty gutsy call there, but he hit it perfect. So he wants to bump the six and just stop the cue ball for the five. Now, if he doesn't move the six very far, he can kind of cinch the five and still make the six. But if he bumps the six too far, he's going to have to make a great shot on the five and get on the six. So I'd try and hit this as slow as I can with draw. What about you, Billy? What do you think? Yeah, I think... Uh Probably just slow as you slow as you can and cinch the five would be the right idea. If he if he puts it on the bottom rail and has an angle, I mean he can draw over to the second diamond, past the side. We'll see what he see how hard he hits this ball. Ooh, he kind of see where he nudged the six into a tough spot now. Yeah, he drew it. So now he's dead straight in. He's just gonna have to. He's just gonna have to stop, cinch this ball, and stop it. And if he, if he puts it on the bottom rail, six, yeah. and has an angle. I mean, he That's can really draw it to the second diamond, Billy, because past the side. 
see what he. A lot of players will try hits this to ball. do too much with this five ball. Yeah. Try and get on the six, and then they diminish their chances of making it. Yeah. Whereas if you just just try and pocket this ball, then play a safety or do whatever you can do with the six, it gives yourself a better chance to win the game. Yes, 100%. Yeah, he's absolutely straight on this ball, too. And as slow as the rails are playing, if he makes this and, and is able to cut the six in, he should still have a shot at the seven. Yes, for sure. See, like you said, he, he tried to do a little too much with that. Shooting it at, at a t at a high speed, yeah, rather than it made it, it. it made it a lot harder to make the ball. Shane has it doesn't look like Shane has a really gimme here. Looks what like he think might have to come with something here. What do you think of him stopping the cue ball and banking the five? Kind of playing he, safe. Yeah, he miss called it. Because yeah, he, he can put it. the cue ball in a position where where the cue ball can't get near the corner pocket. You know, yeah, so he true. can cover the five with all four of those balls. Looks like he hit it pretty good. Yeah. Right in the hole. You see, if he had left the cue ball a little more in the middle of the table, he could have covered all the balls and had a shot at the six. Yeah, two-way kind of, huh? Yeah. Whereas where he left the cue ball, if the, if the five, if say we would have missed the five and left it over on the rail, yeah. he might have left, left a shot. shot. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It was, that was pretty smart. Probably just gonna freewheel these in. The bed of these tables look like they play, uh, well, they do play pretty slow. They play great, but real slow rather than what we're, we're kind of used to. So, Billy, you got the debut, your debut of the Moscone Cup coming up this year. Congratulations on getting on the team. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've went to pretty much every single event this year, so I. Uh, it's it's going to be a great time to get on the team, and I already know. I I don't really know what the pressure is like out there, but everybody tells me that it's going to be unreal. So I'm excited to I'm excited to go out there and play the best I can. Yeah, you'll have a good time. You got a you got a bunch of good teammates too, and everybody seemed like they were having a good time last night. So uh, yeah. yeah, I think you guys are going to do real well out there. I like our chances this year for sure. It's race to five. I mean, anybody can win, but I don't know. We just have to minimize it, minimize our mistakes as much as we can. And we're also playing uh, a match, uh, USA versus Russia, a team a ma team match at the end of this tournament. Yeah, and. Uh, so uh, it's going to be uh, like a mini Moscone warm up, and I get to play with you guys on that one. I won't yeah. be I won't be on the team uh, for the Moscone Cup, but I'll I'll get to play with you guys here. So yeah. that'll be cool to hang out and uh, get a couple matches in and see if we can. Uh, yeah, we, we got to well. we got to we got to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good fun match. They got a lot of good players here in uh, Russia. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a real real nice warm up for us. All the Russian players are very nice gentlemen, uh, a lot of class, and uh, they play very strong. So yes, they do. Should be a good warm-up for you. Yeah, it's going to be a great. It's going to be a great match. Oh, he hit he that hard, and he hit it, he hit it hard and hit it well, but it didn't come across like you say. The table's a little slow, isn't it? Yeah, the bed of the table is real. Kind what do you of think? You think you can bank this cross side with some? It needs to use a little left spin, maybe a little, little top. Yeah. And just hit it, hit it pretty firm, huh? Well, like a like center, center left. It center looks like he's left. cutting it in the side, is what he just called. But oh, yeah, like okay. to bank it like a little center left and don't hit it so hard, and it should mm -hmm. hold up. But the tables are real slidey right now. Oh. Looks like he kind of played a two way there. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah, I think, think he was, he was halfway it, trying to make that, but he was also playing safe. Yeah, he made sure shot. that he, he made sure he missed the ball short. Yeah, that didn't way he got to hit the point and come back across. Yeah. This is getting to be a pretty good match, 5-3. Um, Marcel, uh, he's holding his own here. He's doing, yeah. well, doing well. 
I don't know if he's going to – I don't know how much of this ball he can really see. He might be able to bank this ball across corner and, and play a two-way also and bring his cue ball back up table by the nine. That's what he yeah, did. Yeah, he hit it perfect. Wow, what a shot that was. He hit it perfect. And he made the eight. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great shot. Two for the price of one. How could you go wrong? <laughs> yeah, he hit a great shot there. If he misses that bank short, then the, then the two ball comes up behind the behind the ten and seven. But he ain't got to worry about that because he made it. So he looks like he has a pretty open table here. Get past his four ball. Looks like he's straight in. Nice little touch. Can he see the five? A little bit. Oh, the bed. <laughs> it's a little really tough to see it. Well, he's looking at position, so he must be able to see it. Yeah, it looks like you can see it here. Just cinch it to come out to the middle. That's the side, like that. Looks like everything's pretty natural from here. Wow, he got a little close to his work on the seven. Ooh. He might have miscued there. I couldn't really. Kind of sounded funny, but he left himself. Uh, If he's going to back cut this nine ball in the corner or try to play a safe, or I think the shot is playing a safe here. If you if you bank it straight down the middle of the table, past the ten, and put your cue ball up in the corner, top right corner. So he's trying to cut this ball, maybe. Yeah, he might be going for the gust. Oh, oh yeah, he hit it really nice. Look at that. Cue ball kind of held up, like you said. Yeah, it's not. I would have thought that would come out another the, foot. Yeah, at least, yeah. if not more. The, the bed of the cloth plane really slow. It's like it's thick or something. Is, what, what kind of cloth is this? Is this? Uh, uh, I think it's Simonis. I don't know if it's. I know somebody told me it has. It says HR on it. Whatever that means. I don't oh, know. okay. It's HR. That's a new cloth, I think they make. Really? Yeah. Oh, he wow. missed it. But did he? He lucked it in. Look at that. That yeah. doesn't count, does it? No. Shane has, has to, to call it. He has to shoot the ten ball off the spot here. Oh man. He hey, has the, the option to give it back, I missed? think. But he obviously is not going to give it back. Yeah, it's the second ten ball that he's missed. Pretty yeah. much almost the uh, same cut into the same corner. He doesn't like that corner for some reason. Yeah. Well, if he wouldn't have missed those two ten balls, he'd have a. T he'd have a. Oh, oh, wow. Shane missed it. Wow. Shane missed it also. I think these balls are playing really slick. Yeah, they're because well, Because that's, that's, what, that's what causes you to overcut that. Yeah. Because you expect it to grab a little bit, but since the balls are so s slippery, the cue ball just slides right across the 10. Yeah. That'll happen out in the Moscone Cup, too, a little bit. You, you'll find that the balls yeah. will cut a little bit more than you think. You yeah, know? I'll probably overcut a lot of If I miss, I'll probably overcut yeah. the ball. Definitely. And, uh, I know. I noticed that the two balls I missed on this table. Now that I go back and think of it, I overcut actually him. overcut them. Yeah. He's got a tough shot here. Mm. Oh. Wow. Well. well, he got a chance. He got a second try at it. He's got he a tough shot here. 
yeah, that was pretty brutal ten ball there for for these guys. I think jet lag's playing a part in this also. You know, these are the first matches for these guys. A lot of the players are gonna not be a hundred percent, you know. So they yeah. need to get a couple days to acclimate their bodies. Yes, for sure. I think it's I think it's Marcel's break. I think. Mm. I think Shane breaks on even. Mm. That was a big game for Marcel there. If he wins that game, it's it's 5-4 with him breaking. Has a chance to tie it up at 5-5. Five five. Yeah. Yeah, getting a, getting a good lead so important with this alternate break format. Yeah. When I was younger, we used to always play winter break every turn. Winter break, but now they do the alternate break. And I had a discussion with... Uh, one of the other players and I said he said well all the other sports are alternate break <laughs> but uh, actually in the, in America the top sports are uh, basketball football and they, they actually play loser break right so once once one one team scores the other the other team gets the ball yeah exactly so it's not actually alternate break right so yeah, that just makes interesting. Sense. It, interesting in the, the way the other the big sports play. Some of the other sports. What do you prefer? Do you prefer alternate or do you prefer winter break? I've just grown up always playing winter break, and and even if you're down in a match, yeah, you can always if you get a shot. You can you can come back. You know, it's your. Yeah, it makes sense. You might hit a little gear. You can always come back. Whereas you if you're down there. You're down by a lot in winter in alternate break. It seems like the match is almost already over, or you're depending on on your opponent to make a mistake. So. Yes, for sure. I know what you mean. Yeah. I never really played a bunch of tournaments winter break, but the ones that I have, there's been a couple times where I've actually been down, like you said, and and, uh, and managed to come back and win the set. But I've also had that happen to me too, though. So. Yeah. But the alternate break, if, if you have a pretty big lead, you, you start feeling real comfortable and you know, you pretty much have to if you're down, you gotta you gotta hope your opponent makes a couple errors so you can get back in the game. You hit that one pretty good, but uh I didn't really get too fortunate. Came into a three ball. I don't know if he could if he could see the edge of this two ball. If he can, he probably will thin it and try to bring his cue ball around three rails behind the 10. I don't think he can see it. Might be on Masse a little bit and bank it across. Looks like he's kicking at it. I don't know if he's... Wow, I don't know if he called that. That or... was a great shot. Yeah, he... Just a little softer, he would have had it behind the five. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot at all. Looks like Shane has a pretty open table here. Just got to get good on the three. It's over. Yeah. Wow, he hit it perfect. He had to worry yeah, about hitting that nine there. Yeah, and he I would have thought he might have hit the nine with that inside. But Especially got it with the grab. slidey table. Yeah. I think on a slidey table like this, they play a little bit more like on a... Like on a small table in the in America. We have bar tables in America. They're only seven feet. So when you play on those tables, you, it's more like you just want to get a shot on the ball. You don't want to make sure that you play very very conservative with your position play. Yeah. Because making the ball is easier. So yeah, that's why when uh, when, uh, when a lot of the European guys come over, they never played on seven foots in their life. When they come over to America and play on those. They like they just think it's a joke. Which it, I mean, it kind of is, but that's that's all the money where all the money is in America right now, pool-wise. Yeah. Well, it's just less. It's less about your shot making and more about your position play and stuff like that. Yeah. Shane went up seven three here, and I think it's his break. If he gets a good break here, the match could be over. Yeah, I think a race to eight is a little bit short. What do you think? It's a yeah, bit it's a little bit short. Ball. It it definitely is a little bit short, but um, I kind of like it though. 
for, I don't know. It seems like uh, you're playing a champion every single match here at the Crimson Cup, so I feel like it kind of kind of benefits me a little bit, so I kind of like it, really. Yeah, but definitely it, a lot of tough matches, so. Yeah, already, and it's only second round. Yeah. Shame to break here. See if he gets fortunate. Let's see, if he, let's see if he makes his 9 to 4 inside. He said they were going to too high, huh? Yeah, he breaks the dead center. Oh, he made, it that, made the 4 that time. Yeah, he took some off of it, looked like. Oh, they didn't break They broke weird, didn't they? Yeah, they broke it. The, the 9 ball, did you see how far the so 9 ball came past? He hit the left side of it, and the 4 went low. That the nine went high, so yeah. Hmm. Well, you yeah, can't he, see enough of it to make it. He I might, think be, able he might bank be able to bank it, but the seven is pretty. So he's looking at. See, it's it's kind of hard to hold it on this table on a on a diamond that you've been playing on. You could probably hold this ball, but I don't think you can on this table because yeah, the way it's going it to slide a little bit. Even if you hold it real good, yeah, when, it's probably when it gets about halfway off the table or halfway to the pocket, it's going to start coming long. Yeah. He might be able to, though. You have to hit it really good, really hard, too. I like banking it across and take the cue ball behind the five. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, he definitely went for it there. I got a few balls moving. I think like he blocked the pocket with the three balls, so it's not a... Looks like his only option here is he's going to have to... I mean, he can play the combo, but obviously that's really tough, or he's going to have to play a safe. He might just put, push the one ball down under the ten and lag oh. the cue ball behind the five ball. Yeah, put the one... Try and play the one into the top of the ten so the, the one goes off the ten behind the three and then roll the cue ball behind the five. Yeah, that's if a good idea. If he's got the angle to do that. Yeah, that's like a good he idea. Might. He's gonna probably be worried about all ten ball right here, so you're or all cue ball right here. Yeah. I don't really know what he called. Let's see what he does here. Well, that was cool. He came off the side of the five and, and got a safe that way. Yeah. Not sure if he played it like that, but if he did, that was a great shot. Yeah, it's pretty uh. Pretty different way to do it, but yeah. I don't know if Shane can see this to make it in the corner, maybe. It looks like he's pulling his break cue out. And he's he's got the jump cue. Gonna jump over the five. Yeah, he's gonna jump over. He's full cue jumping it. Yeah. Let's see how he gets this. Well, looks like he got a little fortunate here. Tell you oh. what, there's been a lot of innings back and forth in this match. Yeah, there has. It's just, it doesn't seem like the table's playing real easy. No, everything's kind of laying tough for each other. I don't know if he can see the edge of this one or not. Looks like he can, but... So overcut that ball just a little bit. Left Shane pretty open table here. I think Shane's on the hill, so needs to bear down and get this game. That was pretty good. Not a good angle on the five. It would come natural two rails for the for the six ball in the corner. Looks 
looks like this one might be over. All the balls are playing that pretty good for him. So has a chance here to make it 7-4 with him breaking. So it's a big opportunity for him to get back in this match. Needs to really take his time here and bear down. Got a pretty good shot on the nine here. if he really wants or cut it in the corner but those are both tough shots he might cut it inside though he has to worry about the scratch I like cutting it in the side and if you miss putting the tin ball up on the miss it make sure you miss it short the tin ball goes up on the bottom on the top rail and the cue ball stays on the bottom rail. You have to leave Shane and Bank. He hit the nine ball a little, a little bit too firm. I think he tried cutting in the corner there, but left Shane. Pretty easy shot on the 10. Oh, good shoot to Shane. Good shoot to Marcel. Good match, guys. Thanks for uh, letting me do commentary here.